Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Monday, March 6, 2023, and we are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these college basketball videos every single day, along with the NBA and NHL. Both those videos are live right now, so definitely go check those out. Uh, we're going after our first 3,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's win together today. Let's make some serious money. Um, and as you all can tell, this is not my normal background. I'm actually in Europe this week. Uh, I got my bookie back home placing bets for me, so we're not taking any days off in this regard. Uh, but to recap yesterday, let's recap yesterday's results a little bit. Don't really want to, but we got to be transparent. So we had Houston minus five and a half. They had an incredible buzz of year to win it, but they did not cover the spread. Uh, same with thing with Penn State. Both incredible, incredible, incredible games. Um, Houston definitely should have covered it. They just blew up in the midway through the second half. But two L's there. We took Illinois plus seven and a half. That was a winner. Uh, we had Iowa State and Iowa, excuse me, and Nebraska over 153 and a half. That was an easy winner as well. And we said add-ons on my Twitter. Uh, one of them was Indiana minus four and a half. We're counting this as a loss, obviously, on the channel. But we absolutely were on the right side of this game. How on earth do you miss four freaking free throws in an 11-second time frame and you get free college to do so? I, Ray Thompson, I don't know what the hell you're doing. You should be kicked off the freaking team. You're lucky as hell you didn't blow this game for your team. Absolutely atrocious. I can't even believe it. We're going to count it as a loss, obviously, but we won that game. Uh, Minnesota plus five now. That was a winner. And Rutgers minus five now. That was a loser. Um, Rutgers should not be in the tournament. Like, this team is not remotely fun to watch. They are not a team that is very good. Like, like they're they're pretty good defensively. Um, they're very good defensively, but they are atrociously bad on offense. I just don't see them ever getting out of the first round here. They could be one of those like playing games, like on like Tuesday or Wednesday. That would be fun to see. But other than that, they should not be in the tournament. They're 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 it was an L. So we went three and four day yesterday. Um, but right now, guys, we're one eighty seven and one thirty, including yesterday. So we're in a really good spot. I got three picks today, or two picks today. Excuse me, with one I might do later. I'll start with our best bet, best bet of the day which is going to be Youngstown State minus three. They have tremendous guard play in Cohill and Rush, and they only average four turnovers a game between the two of them combined. They also lead their team in scoring, and they average 82% for the line. Um, and guard play in either conference tournaments, NCAA tournaments, NIT, all that stuff, like that is what makes teams go. Youngstown State has two great guards. Uh, I'm rolling with the favorites here. They're also favored to win the tournament to begin with. I think they're going to win this game pretty convincingly by seven and 10 points. I love Youngtown, Youngstown state here i also love the fact that they're the penguins that's pretty awesome um our second bet of the day is to be byu plus six and a half versus saint mary's byu is a tough it is a tough team and they've also played saint mary's very tough this whole year they've stayed within six and a half points when they played them both times they lost both times but lost by one they lost by six I think this game is going to be very, very close, like most conference tournaments are. And I just, I, I think this trend is going to continue. BYU, I don't think, is any threat to win the uh, win the uh, WCC at all, or the WAC, or whatever conference that they're in right now. Uh, but I think they can keep this game against St. Mary's very close. I like St. Mary's to win. Um, I really like St. Mary's just overall as a team. But the fact is, is that St. Mary's looking ahead of Gonzaga. And I think BYU can keep this game a lot closer than people think. I love BYU here, plus the points. I love St. Mary's in the money line, though. Um, the other, only other game I may add later is going to be College of Charleston um, versus Towson. I like Towson here plus six. I just think this game is a lot closer than people think, um, and especially as the sharp money is all over Towson here. So a quick recap of what we have. Uh, we have um, we have Youngstown State minus three. We have BYU plus six and a half. And I might do Towson later. Check my Twitter for that. My Twitter's in the description below as it always is. So let's lock in those picks. Let's win together today. Let's make some money, and I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check out those other videos.